we're going to have to talk about that. First of all, that angle was super weird. Who the heck was filming this part when he was offering him the blunt? Like, who the heck was, <laughs> who was sitting there filming that? That's what I want to know. Did it really come as a surprise if somebody was ready filming that? I don't know, and zooming in. Or maybe, actually, no, I know what it is. I think I can see a camera right around here. So yeah, they just zoomed that in. Such a weird angle. No, is that it? It just seems weird. I'm looking at the angles and I don't know how they shot this and who did that. Some of this stuff, I'm telling you, it might as well all be staged, but hey, we can still learn from it. It's all good. <laughs> okay, what's up YouTube? What's cool, what's cool, what's happening? It's time for life. So today we're gonna look at, who we looking at? Anyway, it's the season finale, by the way, of Life After Lockup. So I'm sure Love After Lockup will be coming back soon. We're looking at Andrea and Lamar today. Mm, new couple every day. So they're trying to have the baptism. They're trying to blow up this swimming pool so that Priscilla, the daughter, of Lamar and Andrea can get baptized in it. And it's a whole big thing. I teach Sunday school for the youth and I tell them to stay away from alcohol and drugs and not to be around them. Why would you want me to jeopardize my integrity and my standards? Why would you want me to do that? This is from ages ago, but she has a problem with that guy. That's the cousin of Lamar, the guy who offered her son a blunt. She's had an ongoing issue with him because he does do blugs, if you know what I mean. And she, he does do that. He does, uh, and um, yeah, she doesn't want that around her kids. So yeah, this is the pool. And then they all decide to leave. Tenants, is that his name? Yeah. He decides to go. Lamar's like, I'm gonna go to the to the to the loo. And they leave this thing that already looks like it's pumped up quite good. You see how the edges of it, like that round part, is like, it's tight. And they all decide to leave at this very moment. Like I'm confused. So yeah, what happens? The thing blows away and uh, it deflates. I'm gonna stop you right here. <laughs> so he tells Andrea what he did. He had to go to the bathroom and yeah. That's, this is such an important thing. And you know how Andrea is that going to the bathroom. I'm sorry, man, you should have just held that one in until the pool was cool. But anyway, you see how they have all these, I'm sure they give them like 5,000 iPhones or something to put around the house. Cause see exhibit A, you can see the, the you can see the the phone just chilling there. That must be so weird to think about these things yourself and do all these things yourself. Wow, they should actually pay them more these seasons because they're filming themselves. They're executive producing themselves. Who goes plays the pool then goes in the house? So oh, why you just with me, bro? I really don't. Oh, did you cut that? She caught her. Did you catch that? She was like, you don't want her to get baptized? And he was like, I really don't. Because he has a whole different types of belief system. They're Mormon. I don't know what he is, actually. But he has a whole different type of belief, belief system. And he doesn't really want his daughter to be baptized necessarily in the Mormon religion. But you know that if you're going to be with Andrea, that's what it's going to be. And that's why sometimes it's so important to be similar in these respects. Because... These things can bring a lot of friction in relationships. Sometimes people will get with somebody from one religion and then from with somebody from another religion. What you don't realize is once you start having children, they're they're from both of you. So now what does what happens to the child? Everybody thinks that their religion is the best, the most important, and that the kids should follow what they're doing. And most times people don't even have these conversations at all before they even start having kids, which is wrong. You should really be talking about these things like would you mind if da -da -da, or will the kid be going both ways and they'll make up their mind later on when they're older and either way you wouldn't be mad about it and i know that you can have these conversations and then people's minds can change later on down the line i'm sure that that happens of course but the fact that people are not having these conversations at all is baffling to me because it's religion is such a big thing there comes a point in life where the good body and all these things that all fades away and becomes less important and life life stuff becomes very very important also because the body and everything fades away anyway so yeah because of you. If Priscilla don't get baptized today, I'm going back to Utah. Threatening, 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 threatening. That is what this lady does best. This Utah, if you want to go, go then and leave this man in peace. 
it's it's just too much to hang that over his head the whole time if you don't do this i'm going back to utah if you don't do that i'm going back to utah and later on he actually describes that he has sacrificed a lot as well even though they all moved over to la to be with him right he's also sacrificing in a way that for instance he's not from the mormon religion but he's allowing all these things that they're doing um a lot of things he's also he feels like he's also compromising so it's not only from one side and she should never think it's only from one side but she's always making it seem like the move was the biggest thing ever which i'm sure it was it was getting all those kids out of their school away from their friend groups and you away from your safe utah and with your mormon community that's a lot that's a huge life change to make just for one person but he's saying that he's also putting a lot of things aside on hold for her but yeah, he she was saying that the reason she's he's gonna be the reason that their daughter goes to hell because she, if she doesn't get baptized, again, like I said in my last video, it's not just about the baptism. People can be baptized all they like and still be horrible people. I think people need to take all these. That's why you know, uh, in the churches that I like to go to, because I'm Christian, like it's not about doing religious acts. It's not about doing. It's not about having a religion where you're religiously doing things just to do them but it's actually following that lifestyle you know just her dunking her in water ain't gonna do nothing in terms of her going to hell or not if if she turns out to be a horrible person later and i'm sure she won't let's pray she won't be a horrible person but i'm just saying that alone doesn't do anything you have to then build upon that and have a personal relationship with jesus christ brand new and you can't get things ready for our spiritual growth look at how she's she's literally like falling it's like he's walking away she's literally like following him she's like on his tail like oh my gosh that's a lot Whatever. turn on the air conditioner it's too much i would go crazy i would go crazy but i'm sure they're trying to make her look a certain way as well at this point they're just trying to make her like the crazy crazy slash angry black woman a little bit Mm. but anyway they have this what flex seal i don't know how they just randomly have this in the house but i guess because if that were me i would have had to go out and buy a whole new pool because this thing is happening this day the most stressed it's, it's a little unusual but i actually think it's cool ah there we go wow they've really made this into a big thing huh it looks like a wedding uninvited unwelcome him huh? she wants to uninvite and unwelcome this dude the guy who gave the blunt to tennis her son but now they're gonna talk because he came he came to the baptism. I was just joking with the kid. I just, just wanna see. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> I told you guys, be careful of those aunties and uncles who will test you to see if you will do the thing that you're not supposed to do so that you go and tell your mom and dad this is the thing that you didn't, that you're a very rotten child, you're a very horrible child. That that's for them, their child will never do the things that you are doing yourself. Okay, let me hit that right there. I'm like, what the f I'm telling your mama. He probably would have. He would have. I, mm, I don't know whether to believe it or not. I, I think you could believe it because with the cameras rolling, with the dad there, how is he really gonna, like, really, really let him smoke? Like, I, I know people like this. I know people like this. I, I, I know people like this. That's all I'm gonna say. All of a sudden, it clicked inside of me. This dude is high right now, so you're wasting your time. She thinks he's high right now, so there's no point in even having a conversation with him. Just agree with him because he's high right now. <laughs> Andrea is too much. How do you know he's high right now? Just because somebody smokes every now and again doesn't mean they're high every single day. Although they could be. Not think about it, but Priscilla has you now. So not having you there with parents for the last minute. So Terrence is talking to Lamar like you need to be there because he's even contemplating whether he's even gonna be at the baptism. He's not really feeling it. Terrence is such a voice of reason as well. Like this Andrea has some very wise, smart, amazing kids. And I got some African kente fabric. <laughs> oh, please leave the kente alone. No, no. Why? Why you gotta bring the kente into all of this? Put on the dress. I implemented that for Lamar so that he can know that we can add our culture to this. Culture? Why, why, hmm. Ooh, well, hmm. Why, why is this now all of a sudden part of culture? That's what I'm trying to figure out. How is this part of culture? 
and what is bringing culture you know what i don't i i mm. so yeah that's it she finally got baptized a thank the lord that she got baptized and yeah i don't know how long they're gonna follow these people let's hope and pray that you know the kids stay on the straight and narrow and yeah but the story that she's telling of baptism just uh, making sure that she's covered in the blood of jesus and she's not going to do anything uh you must have forgotten about free will that god graciously gave us we are free to do whatever people think christianity well this is mormon mormon ship mormon mormon mormon, mormon really how do you say that just the mormon religion uh god gave us free will to do whatever we want to do but we know what we not supposed to do we're not bound by chains there's no lightning that's going to strike us but you know your subconscious know what you got to do and what you don't got to do. So people are free to do whatever. So it's not the baptism that's going to save you from having your free will. Oh no, you're always going to have your free will. But anyway, so this ended up working out. Andrea is a whole, oh, she is, she is something else. But anyway, it sure is entertaining to watch. So if you want to watch more of these, I post one of these every single day. So new cup tomorrow. This is the daily video gang gang. So, if you're not ready for the family, make sure you hit bum, thumb, and the zone to that subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video. And hit the notification bell while you're at it. I'll see you tomorrow. Not only love after like up, not only life after like up, we do everything up in here. This is a lifestyle channel. So stick around. There's so many videos that pop out every single day. Every single week. So, yeah. Join the family. God bless.